Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make yourselves a pastebin license key. So this is really simple to do. Um, all the things that you're going to need is you should need uh, requests. So we're going to go ahead and import requests. I think that's really all else we're going to need. I'm just going to go ahead and go over this. Colorama. I've been getting a lot of things about Colorama recently. And um, here's all the stuff I have installed as in packages. I have nothing that's Colorama installed. It's all these Microsoft and um, all that. All right, I have nothing else installed. Um, the only thing I have is CMD, which is the PIM install Colorama. All right, if it is not working and it's still showing up the air, First things first, try to close down Visual Studio Code, reopen it, see if it works. If it works, boom, that works. If not, restart your computer, do it, and then open up uh, Visual Studio Code. If that doesn't work, do it, or go ahead and do uh, pimp, pimp uninstall Colorama. Alright. And then once you've done that, it will go ahead and uninstall it and then do pimp install Colorima and you have uninstalled it and reinstalled it. If that doesn't work either, try and search up some YouTube video. I've been getting a lot of DMs about Colorima, how it's not working. So there's a little small solution for you that hopefully will be able to work for you. So let's go and get right into the license key. So there, here is where the license key is. So let's go and delete where the license key is. Uh which is right here. So I'm going to go and label this license key. Also, all the stuff will be down in the description, um, like always. All right, so let's go and start with the license key. So we're going to go and create a variable, which is going to be called a license key. All right, and we're going to equal that out to input. All right, and then we're going to have four dot uh, input. All right, and then we're going to do a uh, four dot, and let's go ahead and do a red, okay? And then we're gonna plus input license key. All right, and just like that. Uh, let me go and actually make this a capital. I oh, have yeah, funny story. Some guy came in my DMs asking me to code them a Bitcoin miner, and and he kept on asking me like, and I basically helped him out for uh doing it and and i'm i'm gonna like that's, that's the reason why i'm trying to make this video to help y'all with colorima because i've been seeing a lot of people have been making these fake bitcoin miners now um the code is not fake it by the way the code works it is just the the whole thing of wallet mining is not really a thing uh, people have been making them and this one guy came in my dms asking me to make him one um, at first or to help him and i was like all right i'll create you one or i'll code you one for money and he's like okay and then he just kind of ignores that and he just asks me hey how do you change this how do you change this 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 and then he just basically after that ignores me and um makes his own little one um and creates a whole discord server and scam people so um I will be getting that server taken down, hopefully, because it is scamming. And lots of people have lost money. I I heard from someone I saved six hundred dollars from someone because they were literally about to buy a Bitcoin miner that does not work. So let's go and get let's go and finish this. So URL equals okay, and then we're going to go make a pastebin link. All right, so you want to go over to here and you just go and search up pastebin. All right, and right here is wherever you want to put the password. All right. Let's just say we want to make it admin. We go ahead and just make it admin like that, which is what I did for my last one. Click create, paste, and copy this right here. All right, and then you can go and paste that right in the URL right here. Now, what we want to do though, this is very important. You have to go right here and have to type in raw and then slash. All right, raw and then slash. The reason why is because it will not be able to read this because of everything else. Because we have to have just a raw paste data, like what this says. So we would do raw slash, and it would just show the word right here, like what we would want it to. So now we're going to do r equals requests dot get. Also, I will have two links in the description. The full code 
for everything and also just this part right here for y'all okay which is going to be get url so we're going to be getting the url okay and once we've done that we're going to do if r dot status if r dot status or no it is underscore code um exclamation mark equals 200 okay then we're going to print something went wrong this basically says um like uh it's basically an error code so something went wrong so if the status of the code is basically bad it will print this and we're going to do time.sleep all right we're just going to do that for one second and then we're going to go and exit out of the program uh actually for this i'm going to go ahead and say program will be closing in. Okay, uh, program will be closing. Then we're going to do time dot sleep and we're let's go and give it like three seconds to say the program will be closing. Alright. Uh, let me go ahead and let's add a color actually. Um can I do yeah I think I can four dot let's go and do red all right and then we'll do four dot green actually let's both make these red boom just like that all right so now once we've done that so that is the air code basically and we're going to do if license key equals to r dot text which basically means whatever uh, the request got or what the website has um, also known or sorry license key equals equals okay and then we're going to do print valid our key is valid okay we're going to do time dot sleep all right and then we're going to basically make that go to time dot sleep we'll give it a second and then we're going to go and make that go to main um, after that time dot sleep which basically main uh, basically means uh, the main menu basically or it'll go to the next step which should be for some reason it is not showing up I don't know did I add it on this code uh, let's see oh okay yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot well, I have to create up here so up here you just want to go and do def main okay and then do print, and then we're going to go ahead and say this do something. This basically uh, is just saying go to main or um, wherever you basically left off. So now we can go and do else. Okay, so if not basically is what else means. Print invalid key. Alright, and then we're going to do the same thing right here where I'm just going to go and copy this. And it's going to go and say, time.sleep program will be closing. Oh. Uh, program will be closing just like that. Alright, and then once we've done that, it should indeed be done. So let's go and test this. Uh, again, I'll have everything down in the description. Welcome to the miner. Uh, let's go and do BTC. Okay, my wallets are being prepared. License key. Let's just say if we did that, it's going to say invalid key. Program will be closing. One, two, three. Boom. It's been closed. Just like that. Now let's go and do it so it's correct. And then we're going to do admin, which is the correct key. Key is valid. Do some. All right. And then we're just going to go and make this. Uh, let's go and make this instead of do something to our right, checking if key is bad. Um, let's go and make this to this is basically whatever is going to pop up. So it's going to say key is valid and then do something. Uh, let's go and say preparing um, preparing next step. Okay. So now it's going to say enter your Bitcoin address and you'll go into it. Now, obviously, I didn't add a Bitcoin checker and it's just going to automatically do the little Bitcoin thing. Uh, obviously, I did not add the checker. Also, to change how often 
you get the Ethereum or Bitcoin, what you do is you go over to right here. Okay, if we make it like 250, it's going to be really fast or 150 for Bitcoin. So let's just go and do that. All right, let's go and select Bitcoin. Actually, let's do Ethereum. Okay, so this basically means after 250, it will go ahead and um, after 250 like lines, it will go ahead and give us a green one, which will basically say whatever it is. All right, let's just go and type in something random and just give it a couple seconds to load all of them. And I'll go and say a valid one right here. All right, as you see, guys, it will go ahead and say it's valid. It'll start running just like that. It did take a little bit longer. I don't know why it did. But yeah, so that's how you go ahead and code it. I will have it linked down in the description. And just going to say this. Let me try and finish up the Discord.py series. So if you have any um, ideas for the Discord.py, go ahead and comment down on one of my Discord.py videos. And I will hopefully be able to make one of those videos soon. So yeah, without further ado, I'll see y'all in the next video.